we can just go ahead and continue. So next up, that we have created this prep work, we need to go ahead and type in cri uh, well, this is uh, cry, but pt uh, crypt setup. After that, we can type in hyphen hyphen or dash dash help and you see we have a lot of options but notice that options here are a bit different so you have uh, where is it look it, this is how you would type the arguments so locks change key locks remove key locks add key locks format and so on and so forth so up here you have a, another line of uh, not well those below are some of the actions which go along with the arguments but you can see that the arguments are numerous I'm just climbing up this whole time and just now I have reached the top so there is quite a lot of it we will use Y for verify in order to verify the passphrase what does that mean well when you type it in it's gonna ask for it twice because you don't uh, it's not a very good idea to have it to type it in only once as you can hit a key by accident or something of a kind and then you won't be able to unlock your drives it's gonna be gone uh, over here if, if you go to any of the forums by the way and ask uh, and ask somebody to help you unlock your drive decrypt your drive after you've encrypted it and lost the key well I don't think they're gonna they're gonna help you I don't think they're gonna be able to help you 99.99% .99 of the time actually 100% of the time the answers are always like it's over mate you need to forget about that you need to forget about all the information you had on that drive and move on with your life so anyway over here you have a dash v verbose I'm sure you're familiar with this argument by now you can see that the, that the a lot of the arguments are repeating themselves uh, throughout the commands and we will use y just said what I just said explain the reason for it and down below we have uh, Lux format so let's see if I can find it under the action uh, if I can't really find it it doesn't really matter I'll just type it in there we go it says Lux format that is also one of the one of the actions that we will use it basically says it that it formats a Lux device which we need to do so without further ado let's just go ahead and use crypt setup I would like a verbose output yes I would like you to ask me twice lux uh, format space and then we're gonna go ahead and type in the following so dev mapper tab twice let's see what are we looking for Ah, there we go. Lux, Lux group, LV, Lux. That is what we are looking for here. So let's just go ahead, type it in, and all we need to do is press enter. Now it will get formatted. You get a warning immediately because uh, once it's formatted, it says it will overwrite data, and that will be irreversible. You won't be able to reverse the process and take a look at this are you sure type uppercase yes try typing lowercase yes or just try typing in Y and have a look and see what happens I'm gonna go ahead and type in yes enter passphrase you will be required to type in something meaningful and something uh, that is long so I will type in mine and I hope to God that I remember it please tell me that this is fine if it's not we'll just retype it oh okay so command successful so once again a series of tests will be run on what you type in as a key and if the system deems that the key can be guessed easily then there's really no point to go through all this through this whole painstaking process of encryption well it's not painstaking but it is time consuming to an extent okay granted I'm explaining things here I could probably do this in like five minutes 
less than that probably just type in the commands and that's it uh, but still, I mean, you have to do it. You have to invest your time. You have to change the partitioning schema and so on. Especially if you already have the drives and then you need to erase them, format them, encrypt them so that you could encrypt them back the data up somewhere and then copy the data back. Oh my God, the process goes on and on. So uh, you want to make sure that you're using the proper password and the password the proper passphrase not password which is basically the key uh, to decrypt your drives because if you're not and if it can be guessed very fast then this whole process is pointless and look Lux is very strict on that matter it will not allow you to type in whatever you want even if you are root okay so now that my glorious speech is done let's go ahead and let's go ahead and make a file system so xfs mk uh, fs dot xfs we're gonna format it as xfs let's go ahead and type in dev mapper oh have I opened it oh no I haven't opened it yet so there's just one more command that we need to run before the creation of the file system uh, crypto crypt setup sorry we will type in lux open and then dev mapper uh, where is it how did I name it come on there we go and how shall we uh, name it so just select a name here because uh, lux opens it up on a mapper a device mapper so we will I guess we could just call it Lux I really don't see no that's the group name no it's not actually a group name the group name is Lux group it's fine so we're gonna call it Lux please enter passphrase for Lux oh okay so this is the passphrase that we've just typed in uh, hopefully you haven't forgotten it and hopefully you don't have to do this whole process again because you forgot it so just go ahead and type in type it in work please thank you thank you so much now that we have opened it we need to go ahead and create a file system go ahead and type in mkfs dot xfs space dev mapper and what what is the name that we have used so lux press enter there you go all is done all is well all is fine let's go ahead and create the mount point mk dear mnt mm, what was the name let's go ahead and say uh Lux place. Now we need to go ahead and mount the point. Mount, mount the point. So mount the device actually to a point. No big deal. All you have to do is type in mount dev uh, mapper Lux, and then we're going to give it a point of MNT. Uh, Lux place it's mounted no problems it works that is fantastic news indeed next up we have to edit a crypt tab in order to let the system know of the, in order to inform the system of this encryption so go ahead and type in vi etsy uh, crypt tab well, I'm not going to use VI. Let's go ahead and use VIM. For this purpose, I suppose it doesn't matter, but I still prefer VIM. And here we are going to type a few things in. So first up, it's the name. What was the name? It was Lux. Oh, wait. The name was Lux, right? I've named it Lux. And next up we need to well 
No, I'm not going to press tab. I'm just going to press space. It seems reasonable. Okay, so next up will be the mapper. Dev. Slash. Mapper. Oops. Ugh. I have to do it like this manually without a tab here. So it, the name will the ah uh, okay okay okay. I have to actually exit. It could see this is why you should choose like simple names. Let's go ahead and do ls uh, dev mapper. And what do we need? Well, we need this one. This is the one that we shall use. So let's go back to crypto tab. Back to insert mode. Excellent. So there we go. And for the last argument, we'll just type in none, as that is irrelevant. Anyway, uh, we are in this fashion informing the system of the encrypted file system, of the encryption that is. So let's escape and colon right quit goodbye there is one more file which we need to edit which is i am guess i think you know which one i am referring to it's vim try to think of it while i'm typing it let's see f stab and down at the la as the last line we need to go ahead and type it in so oops sorry so give me the insert mode and let's go dev map, mapper blocks mnt uh, lock, blocks and what was it policy po I have no idea let's go ahead and do this right quit uh, ls MNT. I seriously have a bad memory, so Lux Place, right? F stab. Lux. Lux Place. Next up, it will be XFS. Next up, defaults. And now we need to put this line for systemmd and these last two digits for system checks well one of them is for system checks there we go do we need anything else here no i don't think so we are pretty much done so right quit clear df space the iphone h you can see where it is mounted down here at the bottom now we need to reboot the system reboot and see what happens. Let's see if our little uh, experiment exercise has been successful, if it shall bear fruits. Let's see what the fruits of our labor are. Will this actually be a success or a failure? That we shall know pretty pretty soon. So the first one, it's Lux. This is the standard one that we've been using thus far. If I just type in test press enter. Oh, by the way, if you press delete, you can go ahead and have a look at these things as they are happening. So you can see the loading here as it goes on. So come on, come on, come on. I know, okay, first, it's a virtual machine. It tends to be a little bit slow, but hey, no big deal. Okay, so it's asking us for, please enter passphrase, for disk Lux group LV Lux on MNT, and then it's giving us the mount place. Okay, so let's go ahead and type it in. There we go, press enter. You see how, how better looking that is as opposed to our initial encryption during the installation. This is a very good example to compare the two with. I mean, if you're just typing it there, you have no idea where, what you are typing it for, and looking at that UUID 
sure it's nice for the system but it's not nice for your eyes when you're looking at it I, I mean well yeah your eyes don't really care but your brain is probably spinning around hey what is this you're not gonna figure it out neither I mean maybe you will but uh, it's highly unlikely it's much better to have a neat name like this the one that I have formed here fantastic easy to understand and easy to figure out what it is that you are unlocking so now let's go ahead and type in the system password to log in should happen momentarily you know even though I have assigned almost 3 gigs of RAM I only still have one CPU core assigned to this machine well, I wish they made multiple socket laptops so I could put four Xeon processors, but unfortunately they don't, and I really don't feel like a big machine, having a big desktop machine here. Okay, so let's go into... Uh, dude, come on. Let's go into Applications, Terminal, SU, And we're going to type in df space dash h. Where is it? Ah, there we go. Sure enough, you have dev mapper looks, 7Gs, and you have the mount place here, mount, mount point here as well. Anyway, I will bid you all farewell here, and I hope to see you in the follow-up tutorial. Aside from that, I really wish you all a ton of luck with this.